stan likai ai ti la ba
tinahambing sa isang kastilyong buhangin. Sakdal, rubok at huwag di masaling, guguho sa ihip ng hangin. Pagmamahal ang siyang kalaban niyang mortal Kapag dalampasigay na hanggan Ang kastilyo ay nabubuwal Kaya't bago natin bigkasin Ang pagsintang sumpa sa minumutia, sa diwa't gawa Baka isipin natin kung pag-ibig ay wagas Kahit pa magsanga Samantala Kaya't bago natin bigkasin Ang pagsintang sumpa Sa minumutia Sa diwa gawa Baka isipin natin kung pag-ibig ay waga Mamali kailanman 
Hanggang pag-ibig ko'y hanggang walang hanggan Tanging ikaw lamang Hanggang may himig pa kong naririnig Dito sa ating daydi Hanggang may musika kong tinataglay Kita'y Sanang isipin, ikaw ay aking linisanin Hindi ko magagawang lumayo sa iyong piling At nais kong malaman mo kung gano kita kamahal Hanggang may puso akong marunong magmahal Na ang sinisiga ay lagi ng kao Hanggang saan, hanggang kailan, hanggang kailan kitang mahal Hanggang ang buhay ko'y kunin ng may kapal Giliwag mo sanang isipin, ikaw ay aking Hindi ko magagawang lumayo sa iyong piling Hanggang may pag-ibig, laging isisigaw Tanging ikaw Hanggang may pag-ibig, laging isisigaw Ang pangarap ngayon ay naglalaman 
is not a sign of weakness nor a lack of faith, but grief is a price of love. We grieve and we mourn for the loss of a loved one because of the love we have for them. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 4 it says, Happy are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Our presence today gives comfort and joy to this bereaved family. Also, Holy Trinity Banga would like to extend its heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of Norma Morales Ponce de Leon. Though saying goodbye will not be easy, we ask you to surrender her to God's care and love. You will all miss her. Yes, of course, you will. But the memory should always stay, and you must cherish every happy moment she once shared with you. Her love may be the sweetest, her memories may be the greatest. But she would still say, Miss me, but let me go. Let us let go of our beloved Norma, for indeed, God's garden is beautiful. May I request everybody to please stand for an opening prayer and an opening song. The name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father God in heaven, Lord, we come together. today to worship and to glorify your name you are our creator and the author of life and life is a precious gift from you we come to you today to commemorate and honor our beloved Norma may you bring healing into our hearts as we mourn for the loss of our loved one let your spirit move in our midst and bring peace Please direct our thoughts to you. Release all feelings of sorrow, pain, longing, and even doubt. Bless this gathering today, dear Lord. May this not be a day of mourning, but a day of celebration for a life that touched us all. We give you praise, glory, and honor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I'm 
feel I've been discouraged Knowing that someone somewhere can do a better job For who am I to serve you? I know I don't deserve you And that's the part that burns in my heart That keeps me hanging on I asked you how many times will you pick me up When I keep on letting you down As long as you're seeking my face You walk in the power of my daily sufficient grace You're so patient with me, Lord As you walk with you, I'm learning Watch your grace really means The price that I could never be Was paid with Calvary So instead of trying to repay you I'm learning to simply obey you By giving up my life to you For all that you've given When I keep on letting you down And each time I will fall short of your glory How far will forgiveness abound And you answer my child's love you And as long as you're seeking my face Let us honor Ma'am Norma today by hearing some words for family, relatives, and friends. The messages of love and farewell that even if she leaves us, her memory remains in the hearts of those who love her. We will hear eulogies from the daughter, Naida Ponce de Leon, which will be read to us by Ma'am Leila Sapasa. And she will also be reading messages from the grandchildren, Koji and Blaine. Ma'am Leila. Hello. In behalf of our family, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who are present today as well as to our relatives and friends who visited Nana's Nana's week and also to those who sent us private messages, donations and flowers. Nana Nana is, is surely happy to have all those flowers around her. To guys and St. Thomas UK I see you. You know it beeps for the amount you have donated. Thank you all for your outpouring love and support in the saddest point of our life. Excuse me. Sorry. I personally would like to thank each of my siblings to Myla for always there to support Nana's monthly medications. To Alan, who openly welcomes Nana in his home during the remaining three months of her life. Myla, during our childhood, I shared a sakasama ni Nana kahit saan siya mapunta. And now, and now she immediately rushed back home to be with Nana. 
and took care of the needed arrangements for the wake and funeral service of Nanay. To Reinhardt, who didn't leave Nanay's bedside until she was brought to the funeral home, and also for taking care of Nanay in the last three months of her life. She is surely happy with the transformation of her dual son to a respons responsible son. Michelle, who at the very start had sacrificed her dreams and profession just to take care of Nanay and Tatay, we're so proud of you. And lastly, to Tatay who gave his undying love and support to Nanay until her last breath. Nanay loves you so much and we greatly love you, Tai. I would like to also thank Annette for taking care of Nanay on our behalf and for being a trusted friend to Nanay. To Paneng, who assisted Reinhardt in taking care of Nanay while she was in the hospital, my heartfelt thanks to all of you. As I am writing this, As I am writing this eulogy for Nanay, I can't help myself from crying. Since before, whenever I pray, I would always uh, pray for my family to be safe in, or in good health. And fervent wish was for me to the first one before any of, of them because I cannot handle the pain if ever this will happen. When I saw the doctors were trying to revive Nanay, I was still wishing that she would live and God will take me instead. I still can't accept the fact that Nana is gone. There are so many what ifs running into my mind. It's so difficult to say goodbye to a part of myself that only existed in her. I was still think, talking to her last December for nakikipagkulitan ako sa kanya. I didn't know that was the last time na makikita ko siya masigla at puno-puno ng buhay. Nay, wala na kami yung kabibyo chat ni Che araw-araw. Wala nang tatawa every time na sasabihin ko magpuputushot na naman ako. Sabi mo nga, frustrated model ako. Wala na magsasabi ba kulit ako kagaya ni tatay. Wala na kaming bibiruin. Nanay, huwag kang umiyak kasi pumapangit ka. Kaya pala gustong gusto mong bumalik ng baga. Gusto mong makasama mo na si Alan at Pineheart bago ka mawala. Kaya po lang, bukang bibig mo lately ay eh, bago ako ma ma mawala. Dami mo rin pinagpipilin sa amin bago ako mawala. At now lang namin ma-realize na huling habilin mo na pala mga yun. Naalala ko pa nung sinabi ko my jewelry gift ako para sa iyo at January may receive mo na. Nakita ko ang happiness sa face mo at sabi mo, Naida, Naida, hindi mo na mahintay. My, it's so painful losing you especially for me who have been away for 14 years. Kahit pa araw-araw kita nakakausap, masakit isipin na hindi na kita makikita at makakausap. Hindi na kita tayakap. Usap pa natin. Hihitay niyo ako dahil kasi mamamasyal pa tayo. At pagluluto ko ko pa kayo ni tatay. Papatikip ko pa ang luto ko sa iyo kasi di ba doon hindi ako marunong magluto. I remember the time na paalis ako papuntang Cyprus. Uh, 
ayaw mo magpahat maghatid sa airport dahil ayaw kong umiyak. But still, inisis mo pa sa bahan pa rin ako at hatid sa sakay energy. Ngayon na ikaw na ang aalis. Forever ay hindi man lang kita na ihatid kahit alam ko na itindihan mo na ikaw bakit wala ako ngayon. I still have that yet feeling within that will last until my last breath. I would also like to share with you some thoughts about Nanay. Nanay is the only child of Amang and Irang. She was born in Cagayan Valley and she finished nursing in Manila Central University where she met Tatay. She was simple, shy type, and my pagkamal dita. Those three qualities of her were the ones na minana ko sa kaniya namin pala. Tamay ko na rin ang tatlo kong mga kapatid, Myla, Leila, and Michelle. Nanay from the very start was a lucky woman. She have Tatay who, have, who loved her so much and treated her like a queen. Nanay was our greatest critic, but she was also our number one fan. Now we realize that those criticisms, pangungurot, and other things she did were the ones that moved us to be strong person. Nanay was also a lawyer to her apos. Just like any other grandmother, Nanay would always defend her apos. She was always proud of them for being smart, responsible, and well-disciplined kids. It's a pity that she wasn't able to hold her youngest apo, Baby Blair. <laughs> Nanay is also matataputin. She was even scared of turning on the gas stove and she worries a lot. We often tell her not to stress herself. Although she was too wild, Nana is a fighter. She had that great will to survive. I remember on the second day, that she was confined. We were telling her to fight so she can go with Leila for our vacation in Singapore. And Myla will take her and Tatay to UK next year and after they'll visit me here in Cyprus. Even though she was weak, she still managed to lift her right hand and said she will be fine. And I really tried her best to fight back. She still wanted to be with us. She still wanted to attend baby players of this man. She still wanted to be with that guy. But then it was her time to join our almighty father. Nay, leave your worries behind. Don't worry, we will take good care of that guy. Don't worry about OJ, Yuan, Xian, JD Blade, Lloyd, Rian, and Baby Blair. They will grow up to be responsible children and be successful in the future. They will all make you proud. Don't worry about me, my lovely and Michelle. We are in good hands. Lenos, JG, and Aldrich will always be there for us. Don't worry about Alan and Reinhardt. You raised them well. They will be fine. In front of you, we promise to have each other's back no matter what. Don't worry, this is Captain David, but about our last wishes mo. We love you dearly, Dai. We know that you are with Ida now in heaven and happy to be back in the arms of our Heavenly Father. We'll never get over missing you now. Forever you will be our best friend, <laughs> best wife, and the best grandmother. Like <laughs> happy be high and be our guiding star always. Rest in peace, right? <laughs> we love you. Mom Leila for reading the eulogy of Mom Naida, one of the daughters. Clearly, we grieve for the person we lost. We grieve what we had and all we shared. And we grieve the, all the important things they have missed and we will all miss doing with them. We grieve the future we were supposed to have together. 
but remembering the life we had with Nana Norma will bring joy into our hearts, for grief is a price we pay for love. This time, on behalf of the family, we would like to hear their message of thanks to all of you who are here this morning. May I call on Mr. Alan Ponce de Leon to give the words of thanks. Wala man sa may nadugang na, ipasalamat mo po si Bante na. Sige. Thank you, Liwat, sa tanahan. Ari, tere. Mama. Beloved family and friends of Nani Norma, before we lay her to her final resting place, we shall have our final viewing. Offer your soft prayers, your goodbyes, and then we shall close the casket for the final interment. While you are having your last glimpse of her, we will be playing some love songs as our salute for the life she once shared with you. We will bid goodbye to this beautiful person and promise that she will never be forgotten. Please take your time and observe single file at the center aisle. Mauna po sa linya yung mga family and friends. Yeah. 
everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart, yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. May I request our Lego, Mr. William Cordero, for the final blessing and committal of the grave. Let us all stand. It is time for us to commit the body of Mom Norma to the hands of our Savior. Mga utod, biyari kita dari karun sa lulugan upod sa mga pamilya na nagtipong karun. Magahalad kita karun sa pangamuyo bilang pagdumdum natun sa atun pinalangga nga nagtaliwan. Sa ngalan sa ngamay, sa anak sa Espiritu Santo. Amen. O ginoo tungod sa imo kalooy, ang kalag sa mga tip ang kala ang kaluoy ang kalag sa imo mga tumuluo ginhatagan sing kapuhayan bendisyon ni ini nga lulugnan kag ipadala ang imo ang hel sa pagbantay diri patawara ang mga sala sang amon utod nga igalubong diri 
Agud nga siya makaagom sang kalipayan nga walay katapusan upod sa imo. Kag sa imo mga santos pagi kay Kristo nga amon ginoo. Amen. Balasahon gikan sa santos nga ebanghelyo suno kay San Juan. Sa Jesus nga saliwat na tublagid Nagkadto sa lulugman, ini nga lulugman, isa ka kuibang natakpan sang isa ka bato. Sa Yesus nagsugo, kuhaan ninyo ang bato. Si Marta ang autod sang napatay, nagsabat. Ginoo, mabaho na siya. Tayapat na kaadlaw nga nalubong siya. Sa Yesus nagsiling sa ila, hindi bala nga ginsiling ko sa inyo. na kung magtuo ka, imo makita ang himaya sa Diyos. Dayon din kuha nilang bato, nagtangla sa Isus, kag nang siling, amay nagapasalamat ako sa imo, kay ginpamatian mo ako. Naibaluan ko, nga sa gihapon, ginpamatian mo ako. Pero ginsiling ko initungod sa mga tao, nga yari dali. Agun nga magtuo sila, nga ikaw ang nagpadala sa akon sa tapos siya makasiling sini nagsinggit siya Lazaro gwa ka nang napatay nga tawo nagwa ang iyang mga kamot kag mga tiil na samburan sa panapton sa si Jesus nagsugo sa ila hubari ninyo siya pagpalakta mga kauturan ang ebanghelyo sa aton nga Ginoo. Hinigugma ko nga mga kauturan ang Dios amo ang amay sang kaluoy mga muyo kita sa iya para sa aton a pinalangga nga nagkalamatay dira kay Kristo kag para sa mga nagakasubo bangod sa pagtaliwan sang ila pinalangga. kag kita tanan pagasiling ginuo hatagi siya sing pahuway nga dayon tanan ginuo hatagi siya sing pahuway nga dayon para sa kay norma nga sa pagbunyag nakabaton sang kabuhi nga walay katapusan agod nga maangkon niya ang kapahuayan nga dayon upod sa mga santos mga muyo kita sa ginuo tanan Para sa iban man nga nagkalamatay nga hindi man sila malintang sa ila mga kaparentihan mga muyo kita sa Ginoo. Kag para man sa aton tanan. Kabay pa nga padayon kita nga magpreparar sa aton nga kamatayon mga muyo kita. Kag para man sa iban, kag sa aton man intention karon mga muyo kita para sa aton nga kaugalingon. <coughs> mga muyo kita sa Ginoo. O amay nga langit nun, kaluyi kami kag pamati ang mga pangamuyo para sa amon utod nga naguna na sa amon. Padumdumaman kami sa mga kasakit, sang imo anak, kag sang iya iloy dito sa bukid sang kalbaryo. Kag sa ila dako nga kalipay, sang ila pagkit ay liwat sa Domingo sang pagabanaw, himua kami nga masaligon upod kay Kristo nga amon ginoo. Amen. Mga muyo kita. O Diyos itugot sa kalag sang imo alagad nga si Norma. ang patawad sa tanan niya ng mga sala. Agod nga iya madang at paagi siling may nuklogon ng pag-ampo. Ang kaluoy nga sa gihapon, iya ginahandong. Ginapangayo namin sa imo, paagi kay sa Kristo ima na kagamon ginoo na nagkabuhi kag nagahari, upod sa imo sa kaisahan sa Espiritu Santo, Diyos sa tanan nga tuig sa katuigan. Amen. Kagkaroon atun nga pangamuyuon ang amay namon.
Hatagi siya sa pahuway nga dayo no Ginoo. Kabay pa nga maagong mo ang kalinong sa ngalan sa ngamay sa anak sa Espiritu Santo. Amen. Kagari na tapos sa ato. Thank you for our love and transition.